Today we'll be answering the question that is on all of our minds. What position is superior over all of the others? We'll be finding this out by placing eight teams all filled with the same position into a tournament bracket. Oh, by the way, this is part two. So if you're new, pause the video right now, go down to the description and watch part one because spoilers are about to happen. The tight ends ended up taking care of the wide receivers with ease and the quarterbacks put off a huge upset against the halfbacks, giving us our first round two matchup. The 33 overall quarterbacks versus the 55 overall tight ends. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get this game underway. And just like that, the opening kickoff was off and the return man, Justin Fields, was back to receive, who ended up finding room getting himself to the 36-yard line. And now we have our first play from the Kansas City Chiefs in their lethal offense. Already pressure. What a laser, though! Play one! It's a touchdown! Oh my gosh! The quarterbacks might take this whole tournament. Zach Wilson at kicker. He did it. Massive pressure already to the Jaguars. It's Evan Ingram's turn now. Let's see if he can match what the Chiefs did on their kick return. Uh oh! Yes, he did, and then some. Boys, we might have a battle here. Was that Kyler Murray on the tackle? Somebody chased him down. Remember, these tight ends got a good offense led by Taysom Hill. Travis Kelsey at halfback. We have Kyle Pitts and Dallas Goddard and others. Okay, that's wide open. This might be the highest scoring game of the tournament here, boys. And there he was right on cue, by the way. Dallas got it with the touchdown. 29 seconds gone in this game, and we have 14 points scored. Thing to look out for, we might see a Patrick Mahomes X-Factor activated. Indeed, it is. Look at that thing. And he is lethal with his X-Factor ability. There he goes again, and wide open Trevor Lawrence tight end across the middle. We might as well just throw defense out the window. We know how this game's gonna go. Our next play here. He's gonna go quick again. Oh, there is gonna be defense! Pat Fryer move with the interception. Tight ends got hands. They're not going to be dropping picks like that. Oh, by the way, that's their highest overall player. Pat Fryer move that safety 50 overall. The interception could be huge. We might not see many defensive stops. Two superstar quarterbacks at the top of your screen trying to lock down. He targets the middle, though. Empty set. He's going deep. Taysom Hill back to the end zone. And it's a passing catch to Travis Kelsey. The tight end seemed to stay hot, getting pressure on Patrick Mahomes and a beautiful bat down in coverage by TJ Hawkinson. You want to talk about huge first quarter downs. There it is. Great defense again. And just like that, we have our first punt of the day. We need to see a stop from these quarterbacks because it's going to get out of hand quick. The tight ends kind of have the best of both worlds between an offensive lineman and a wide receiver. And George Kittle has speed, man. That's his fourth catch of the game. The Jags had no fear either. Target in the middle of the field right at Josh Allen on multiple occasions. And now here we are in the second quarter with yet another throw. And guess who it is? Dallas Goddard yet again. Wow, let's see what happens here. Goal line versus goal line. We know where the strength advantage stands. Hold on. Quarterbacks are putting up a fight. Oh, you got to be kidding. Was that on offense or defense? Oh, that's so bad. Who knows? Maybe Doug Peterson had them do this on purpose to give him some rushing room. Clearly, Travis Kelsey finds the end zone. Kind of crazy to think how the halfbacks couldn't do this. Listen, if you are the Chiefs and you're going to throw, you got to find Ryan Tannehill. What do we got here? Right on cue. The former wide receiver, that's who you need to be targeting here. Their defense isn't backing them up at all. Patrick Mahomes under pressure. Uh-oh, last time I did this, it worked. This time it's an interception. Don't know who it is, but he, okay. TJ Hawkinson, this man's having a game on defense. Their second highest overall player making magic happen. Look at the stiff arm. Oh, the Jaguars got the ball. Let me tell you, Taysom Hill was perfect. This right here is whenever Jacksonville always figures out a way to do it. There they go again. Even under immense pressure, he was able to find his wide receivers, making it seem like he was the best quarterback on the field. I think we got a touchdown. Such a wobbler. Dude, him and Kyle Pitts are just connecting. Hey, 20 seconds. They didn't call a timeout. Pay attention to the clock. We got trips. Top of your screen. Taysom Hill's going to look that way. And it's a dropped interception from Josh Allen. Oh, that's devastating if you're rooting for the Chiefs. Under center. Kind of a crazy call. I still can't believe that drop pick. You got to have that one. End result, touchdown, none other, Kyle Pitts. I think he caught four or five passes alone that drive. Things might be getting out of hand, boys, because Jaguars get ball at halftime. Ladies and gentlemen, this is by far the best performance of the entire tournament. The stats, you know, the passing yards, 
for the Chiefs are a little bit obscure. They had one huge one, their first play of the game. Besides that, it's been lock down. To start the second half, the Jaguars got the ball and took advantage of their Kyle Pitts on Anthony Richardson matchup, which they have clearly fallen in love with this game. Dude, Kyle Pitts has 105 yards on six catches, and he just started catching the ball their last drive. I might have to just throw the flag in for these quarterbacks. How did they beat the running backs? I, I am lost. Third down and goal, tossing it. Of course, for the first time, the Chiefs get a stop. I don't know. This is kind of a weak decision to go for three. Jaguars going to get 31 to seven. I tell you what, I think we're going to start simming because this is kind of atrocious. All right, let's jump forward here. Congratulations, though, to Doug Peterson and the tight ends. You're moving on to the championship in the best position tournament. If you're a stat guy, Taysom Hill was insane. Travis Kelsey was actually all right on the ground. And I mean, look at the top three receivers. Just crazy. And you got to give some love the Pat Fryermuth getting their team those turnovers now here we go our second round two game to make it to the championship to play the tight end we have the 56 overall linebackers first the 50 overall cornerbacks the Bengals led by 12 overall quarterback Owosu Koromora who you know surprisingly does all right in these tournaments and then Patrick Peterson will be leading the corners at a 27 overall the opening kickoff the championship game to move on to the Super Bowl, and that is deep. Gruger Hill has a leg. Now, a little sneaky thing about the linebackers, they still have speed, but there's a few players like Denzel Ward, who's just quicker than the rest. Bye. One play touchdown to start things off. Just saying, that right there is the same thing that happened for the quarterbacks, and that game did not go well for him. I will say, though, for this defensive battle, you might not see much scoring. Oh, that's not good. Christian Gonzalez soiled that one. Cornerbacks looking like they've come to play. Are they going to be more dominant than the tight ends were? Oh, maybe not. Here we go. Watch out for number 90, Rasul Douglas at left end. Here he comes around the edge. Great blocking. Opens up a wide open pass. Here we go, people. We might see a little bit more offense than we anticipated another one. Four for four for 40 yards for Coromora. There goes Coromora. That's what he does best. Take off with his legs. He might take off again, people. Great blocking. I got to shout that offensive line. Dude, I see teams come out in this goal line offense, and normally it doesn't work out well, and it's not going to there. AJ Terrell, big sack. On third down, a Wilson Coromora tried to take off, and things didn't go well for him. Oh! <laughs> Ouch. This left the Bengals with having to settle for a field goal to make it a three to six game. The confidence this Buccaneers offense has to have right now has got to be impeccable. If you're Roquan Smith, TJ Watt, Fred Warner, any of these guys, you got to be embarrassed with how that first drive went. Oh, they're testing them. Uh-oh. You can't stop that. If you're wondering why that receiver was wide open, that may have been Tariq Woolen. You know, just a little bit of speed out there on the outside. Looking like a run formation, but no, they decide to throw a great pickup in the block, and it's Fred Warner with an interception. Much needed. This is starting to remind me of the first game. Javarius Ward stepped it up on the defensive line, giving his team some hope. Followed up by another play from him. He's really doing a lot for this defense. Someone's telling me this play is not going to be good. Oh. Good time for that, but our corners are just all over it. A quick three and out, forced to punt, getting the cornerbacks the ball back rather quickly. Oh, shoot. Fred Warner has that X factor. I wouldn't go anywhere near him. Richard Davius White on that last one. Big pressure, though. Guess who it is? Khalil Mack. That first touchdown from the cornerback was so deceiving. Yeah, we should expect this game to go how it is. That's a first, though. Patrick Peterson, you old man, you. Hey, big disadvantage. You're not going to see the corners kicking a field goal from anywhere outside their own 10-yard line. So they need to get a move on. Clock still take it down. Not going to use the timeout, it looks like. I think we might have an end zone shot here. Tariq Woolen's a guy to really look out for. He's the guy that will burn for you. They ran it. We're going into halftime. It's going to be six to three. All right, coming in after halftime. This is still anybody's ball game. Cincinnati has an advantage with being able to kick field goals. And after every kickoff, they're going to have good field position because of Christian Gonzalez. There has been no separation lately. There we go, though. That just made me look stupid. He was wide open. It's almost as if the run game from both of these teams has been completely abandoned. If you're throwing like this, why not, though, right? And I don't know about you. I have no clue who's going to win this. Uh-oh, back shoulder. <laughs> Who was it? Patrick Queen. That was a linebacker on one of the league's best corners. I need to see who this man was. Who's 38? Who's 38? Somebody look back at that and tell me. Oh my that was great. Dude, this game's sick, man. Dude, if you guys have been enjoying the tournament, 
Thank you, first off, for all the likes on this video. I really appreciate it, man. Patrick Peterson tried to get himself heated. He hits Tariq Woolen, and he must be Mr. Clutch because he ended up doing it again for some big yards. Oh my gosh. This game is gonna get insane. This all happened so fast. One moment, you think that they don't have a chance because they can't move the ball, and now here they are. Three completions in a row inside the five for the chance to take the lead here in the fourth quarter. And then on third down, this unbelievable play happened. Pressure coming. Oh my. Wow, how was he not sacked? I'm assuming this is probably going to miss. Oh, maybe not. Oh my gosh, now the Bengals only need a field goal. Oh, that's a bad kickoff, that's out of bounds. Here we go, people, here it is. We don't know if it's four down territory or not. We're gonna see it with the legs though, just what the doctor ordered. There's three minutes left here in this fourth quarter. The winner, again, moving on to play the tight ends in the championship. Who's gonna be the dude that brings his team there? Not you. He can take off and run. Instead, he decides to throw. Kobe. What a catch, what a pass. This very well could be it. I'm thinking this is field goal range for Cincinnati. If anything else, they are very close. And now they're almost certainly there. It's about to come down to a linebacker kicking a game-winning field goal with no time left. Why are you throwing? Okay, they're not throwing. Tampa Bay did use one of their timeouts. And we are just seeing this is the comfortable way to go. I'd say it'd be smart to take a kneel down here and run clock. They are going to score, though. Shaq Thompson gets in, but they are going to leave the corners with quite a bit of time here. And here it was. One chance to be remembered forever. I've been very impressed with the cornerback's offensive line. Oh, my goodness. This is crazy. It's Tariq Woolen again. I don't know how he hasn't completely broken free. 40 seconds now. Going up the middle. What a catch yet again. Got to go for the end zone. And he is... Oh! Seven seconds. We know what needs to happen. This is nuts! Roquan Smith, the linebacker's number one corner at the bottom of your screen, taking care of the superstar. Peterson, go for the end zone! Not even close. We have three seconds left. This is the final play in round number two. There has been some incredible games in this tournament. <laughs> Touchdown! No time left! No way! It's Tariq Wollin! Yet again, the player of the tournament. You want to talk about a trust it play, back shoulder throw. What a come down on that. That's GG's. Cornerbacks are moving on to play the tight ends and the battle of the best position championship. 17-18, the final score. Now that's what this tournament was all about. Before we get into the final game, because I know you guys are excited about it, Patrick Peterson wasn't completing a lot of passes, but whenever he did, it was downfield for a lot of yards. A rushing Denzel Ward, I mean, come on now. And then receiving, I mean, this is the player of the tournament, not just this game. Who's your money on? The 50 overall cornerbacks or the 51 overall tight ends? The moment has come down to this. Welcome into Las Vegas, ladies and gentlemen, where the Super Bowl will be played. This will also be our first time seeing defense go up against offense. And there it was, the opening kickoff was shanked. That was the worst kick I've ever seen. Talk about some early game jitters. Here we go. Our first play, Taysom Hill under center. Travis Kelsey in the backfield. Two tight ends, bottom of the screen. They decide to run to start. What a broken tackle. We had another short play on second down. Setting up this third down slightly past midfield that you're watching now. That's defense right there. Oh, cut me a break. Dude, I'm calling a fake right here. That is so conservative. I'm shocked. Granted, it's actually a solid punt. Big return. Uh-oh. Look out. Coming off the play of the tournament. We're just keeping our eyes on Tariq Woolen. I just want to see him go deep every single play. Darren Waller with a tackle on that last play. They go back-to-back -back runs. <laughs> oh, if they got the block, that would have been big. I'm telling you, there was open running room. Dude, I'm telling you, I'm running oh. this ball. Oh, they didn't throw the flag? Oh, man. It doesn't matter. Just as soon as you thought that the Buccaneers were taking the slow and steady approach. That's the deep ball we've been waiting for, people. Guess who it is? He's taking over this tournament. This first quarter is cooking down. Very good ball carrier vision right there by Denzel, by the way. Play eight of this drive. Picked off in the end zone. It's none other 
than Cole Komet, their starting cornerback. Oh, is that devastating for Tampa Bay? I mean, I know the score is 0-0, but I'm like, dang, maybe they run away with this game. I think not. The Jaguars seem to find something in the RPO game to Kyle Pitts on multiple occasions this drive. The Jags, I hate to say it, are not going to be able to run this game. They do get good blocking, though. Oh, Taysom Hill, there's no way, right? What a throw! Wow. This right now is going to be Kyle Pitts versus Tariq Woolen. Two-minute warning is upon us. They're relentless with trying to run the ball, and they actually get one. Here comes another shot from the nine on second and goal. And Taysom Hill finally getting an opportunity to take off in this tournament. And there you go for our first score of the game. Again, this is kind of crazy. The first time ever that the tight ends have been in this tournament. Here we go. Their defense let them down. It's going to be up to the O. They are rushing to the line here. That's deep downfield. Oh boy, oh boy, almost gone. This is actually getting unhealthy with how many times Tariq Woolen's made a big play. All right, one timeout gone for Tampa Bay. We're gonna go middle of the field here. Hey, we hit a different receiver. Trayvon Diggs, man. At least he found himself in the mix. Underneath, uh-oh, they... Cole Komet does it again. If Jacksonville wins this, you guys gotta vote down below. Is Cole Komet the player of the game? I think he is. And with one big Travis Kelsey run to get the clock out, we were here at halftime. Here's a look at the stats. Pretty balanced for the Jags. Pass heavy for the corners. Bucks, you just got to be more careful in the red zone. That's all. Coming out of halftime, the cornerbacks quickly got themselves in a pickle with the tight ends forcing a very quick three and out to get them the ball. This is not good for Tampa Bay. Tell you that much. Oh, that's that RPO that's really been working for them. We've seen it on three separate occasions so far this game. Hey, look, you're the defensive team, Tampa Bay. This is moments where you should expect to get a hefty stop. They're going for it all. Who's it gonna be? No one. Great defense. And the CBs, we get the ball back just like that. That was quick. Jacksonville, look at the top of your screen. They do have momentum. Maybe a play action pass here. Yep, there we go. And wide open, great play call there. Jeez, J.C. Horn. I, I actually forgot that he was even on offense as a tight end. Okay, here's another run. That's speed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, look out. Could be gone. Crazy to me, man. That's Trayvon Diggs. He's finding himself in this game a little bit. One yard's all they need. And they're throwing it again. And it's downfield. It's touchdown Trayvon Diggs. Welcome to the game. What a drive for them. I just realized Christian Gonzalez not exactly the greatest at kicking extra points. All right, there is no win, so this is going to be a true test of his kicking power. And... Oh, my. There's now time for Taysom Hill in this offense to see if they can move the ball again. It's going to get very dangerous for them, though, if they can't start picking up first downs. The read option, I love that. And just like that, we're in to the fourth quarter. Well, regardless of what happens, we definitely have another good defensive game on our hands. And there's Travis Kelsey out the woodworks! straight down the hash marks and a touchdown right back for Jacksonville. There had to be some sort of miscommunication with how wide open that the middle of the field was. With this kick, we now have an eight-point game. Here we go, people. This is what we need from the corners. Darren Waller, Cole Komet got to be a little bit terrified. Oh, there's the read option of their own. Here we go. 50-yard line. He fakes the draw. He's gonna take off himself, but no, he is not. It's a fumble, picked up, smacked. Yeah, that was kind of a mess. Third and three. And a run play. They got blocked up. Hunter Henry, looked like a linebacker out there. Biggest play of the game so far. Oh, that was a quick hike. Caught him off guard. Incomplete pass. Can the tight ends out of all positions be crowned the best position champion. It may be looking like it as they started their first drive off with authority. Once again, T. Kelsey. You're looking to get around that 30 yard line to make a field goal possible. The blocking of the tight ends is starting to play in. The cornerbacks ended up getting a stop, but it might be too little too late because this three points here has made it a two score game and the corners have only scored once. Just as soon as you thought that this game was over, Patrick Peterson completed a big pass downfield. Oh my goodness. They're about to score. World's quickish drive. We're about to see an onside kick. Wait, this is for two? I don't think it's gonna really matter at the end of the day. They got it. Well, the battle of the best position tournament is about to come down to an onside kick. It's sad to say that the person kicking it is maybe the worst kicker out of all positions in the tournament. The pressure is on. Everybody would forget how bad that this kicking was if we can see him pull this off. And the boot. And 
Okay. That was maybe the saddest thing I've ever seen. Congratulations to the tight ends. You are indeed the best position in football. By the way, if you made it to the end of this video, please subscribe.